Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get started right away here. What advice do you have for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved? with Pisces. Let's let those come out. Okay, might as well just start, huh? Cards are eager. Okay. We are going to have a general reading today. We're also pulling a Sacred Destiny Oracle card, the underlying theme, relaxation. Okay, that looks peaceful, doesn't it? Maybe a new moon kind of energy, relaxation, rejuvenation. Let's see what the cards are going to tell us. The Chariot, the Two of Swords, the Sun, the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Swords. And I want to see what came out here. All right, so I definitely feel like you have a release coming in. We have here two major arcana. We have the Archangel Gabriel, the um, Death card here, Scorpio, Leo is here, Cancer is here. We also have Earth, Air, Water, Fire, all the elements. So with this, I feel like that Eight of Swords, if something's held you back, especially too, because you have the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords, if you've had, if you're in an impasse in a relationship and you're not sure what to do, I do feel like you have the information coming in that's going to move this forward or help you get, if you have some unfinished emotional business out there, help you get it taken care of so you can move forward. Because the two blindfolded characters, the Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, it's indecision, it's uncertainty, it's standstill, stagnant, but there's also a feeling of guilt here. So I feel like the death card is going to be a huge release. That death card is going to move you forward so you can let go of if there is guilt, especially about leaving a job or leaving a relationship. The death card says it's, it revolutionizes your life. When you have the death card showing up, it tells you it is time to move forward. And it is time to leave the past where it belongs in the past. Now, judgment here, they rise up from the coffins of the ego. So if something has kept you held onto something, whether it's a job or a position, like you're on a board or something and you hate being on it, but you say, well, maybe it is a little ego. I don't want to step down, but I also dread every time I have to go there. Or there's something else where even if it's somewhere where you go, you have a membership and it's a little expensive. And you say, you know, I'd really rather save that money and travel. We're not using it like we used to. But there's still sort of that connection of, but I love telling people I go there. And we all do that. I feel like you're going to have a turning point here now. And I also get it too, though, of course, with all this money. If you're letting go of something too that has been a money drain, it's going to bring such freedom to your life judgment will release you. And so if you're waiting on information regarding a job or move or something, that judgment energy brings in everything you've wanted. You have a great reading here. And I, I like it that these came out because they could just added a little punch to everything. But I'll tell you what, with this too, this looks awfully nice with the chariot, the 10 of cups, and the sun, everything will be illuminated. So for those blindfolded characters, the information and answers come in and it allows you to move forward with gusto, with vigor. There's no stopping you in this energy. Now, if it's a relationship, because you do have the two twos here, and those are about partnerships, I feel like with this, you're going to move forward in the best possible way for everyone. And so if you did have a partnership that didn't work, whether it was love or a friendship or a business entanglement, okay, here entanglement, because I feel like there was guilt around it. You doing something and somebody guilt tripping you, I do feel like you're going to move past that. I feel like you do as much as you can with it. But with the chariot energy, you are going to be driven to success, law of attraction energy. So the other thing about this reading that I get is anything that's not for you, it will almost immediately repel you. There's just so much time and energy you'll devote to something that is just not a match. Now, this can be a card of travel. And remember, relaxation from the very beginning. If you do have something here where you're changing jobs and you have a minute to take a vacation or travel in between, or, or even if it's a move with the chariot, okay, this is victory. It's success. It's wonderful. This is like the throwing your cap up in the air on graduation day. And so when you see this, know that you're going to be full of vigor, that you'll step into something that's so fantastic 
So the chariot works in your favor. With this two of swords energy, this crossroads energy, I do feel like you're going to get released from this. This two of swords is a roadblock. Now, if it's somebody else that has been the hang up around you and you're like, if they'd call me back or return my calls or emails and it's this, it's creating this, I feel like you're going to find, I heard a workaround. Okay, you're going to find some way to navigate this without perhaps having to continue to confront it or deal with it. And so it's frustrating energy, though, for sure. And so is this. But I will say these two tend to be self-imposed prisons. They tend to be our, our tendency to keep moving forward with something that isn't seeming to budge. So I do feel like you're going to have the answers are here. Okay, meditate, quiet the mind. And I do feel like you're going to have the answers coming in. Now, with this Ten of Cups energy, okay, celebration. We love the Ten of Cups. With this one, though, it can be subjective. So, again, if it's something that you're trying to buy or it's even something you've been waiting on, like a vacation, this is a card of reunions, again, but it's celebratory. And so, with this, I feel like it's a bountiful time. You'll have a time of prosperity and abundance when the Ten of Cups appears. I also feel like, too, in your day-to-day -day operations, I see somebody like at a farmer's market and just having a fine time with that. You know, anything you do where you go out and you can interact with people, you'll find people seem easy. They're easy to get, be around. It's this. It's very harmonious. Now, if you are moving, you're going to feel like this when you get there. You're going to say, this was everything I ever wanted. I heard Houston. I've never been there. I'm not promoting it. I'm not their ambassador. Um, but I do know it's it seems to be getting to be a popular area. But I do feel like somebody here, you get exactly what you wanted when you have this. So your hard work pays off with the Eight of Pentacles. You have it with the Six of Pentacles too. You have money, nice aspects for money, Pisces. And so I do feel like with this, if you're doing some kind of a side hustle that's a craft of some sort, something that you can do, whether it's photography or so, some kind of a service that you can offer. I do feel like you're going to make money off of it. Or even if you're starting kind of a, like a, I get like a cleaning business. Now, I don't know about you. That's not my thing. Okay. I do clean, but I don't, I don't want to do it all day long for anybody else. Um, but I do feel like whatever you put your focus into is you've got money showing up here. And so with this, if you are making a transition into a new job, I also feel like too, you've got a nice little nest egg and it could even be for some like a sign on bonus or or some kind of a bonus showing up here with the six of pentacles so you're going to find with this one it does bring in balance but where money matters are concerned you're going to be paid what you're what you're asking you're not going to walk away and say oh my god i practically did that for free this is crazy this is where you say you know what no that was that was good i, I feel like i got it paid a fair amount i feel good about this it's definitely a very balanced reciprocal type of relationship Speaking of which, with relationships, I barely touched on it, but I do want to tell you with this two of wands, if you've been on the hunt or not even on the hunt, that sounds aggressive, doesn't it? Jeez. Um, no, come on. With this, if you've been open to a relationship and you just kind of have thrown it out to the universe, I do feel like you're going to meet somebody with that. And now if you've been in a breakup, we're going to talk about that and there's been no talking, but with this, you have love coming in. So especially with a new person, I feel like you've learned from the past. And I guess it could be with a reconciliation. You've learned what you've needed to from the past. You're not looking to revisit it. You're not looking to go back and start up where you left off with somebody. I feel like if you're both on that same page, because you have this energy of not talking to the person here. But if it is a new person, because you say, no, that other one's dead to me. I'll never talk to him again. I do feel like, again, it's like a brand new feeling is what I get. This feeling of learning and applying what you've learned from relationships and being the best partner yet. You'll look at yourself coming into this next cycle as this is the kind of person I want to be in a relationship. This is the person I, I am and I'm not changing or, you know, we give ourselves away sometimes in relationships and we come out of them and go, what in the hell happened to me? And it's that. But with the sun energy... I mentioned before, anything that is not for you will repel you. This is your point of attraction. So everything is illuminated in the sun. Everything comes out, but it's a new energy. And so this brings in sheer joy and bliss. So in terms of attracting a match, it's like you can sit with this person 
in the most boring airport in the world and just sit at an airport talking endlessly and having fun and you go by one of you know one of the places to eat and you both want to eat there and it's like you just kind of vibe with each other i feel like whoever this is they're the perfect match for you now if you say that is my ex I'm telling you, then they're in the reading, okay? Because that's what I get from you, is somebody that could be with you just about anywhere, and it would be just fine. Whatever it is, it would be right, because you'd be together. So with this Four of Swords, I do feel like this is an, a handy energy to have with the Eight and Two of Swords, because this gets you back to center. Meditate, quiet down the noise if there's needless worry, let it go. Let yourself be open. Envision yourself driving down the highway with a car full of money stacked up to the ceiling. Whatever it is that you want to create, know that it comes from within you. You're beautiful. Allow yourself to be anything because the universe wants to work with you. So let's see now what the angels want to tell you. All right, messages please for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know, please? Remain positive. Well, I should say so. I mean, you got a little bit of a pinch here, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. Get more information. We said that everything will come out in the energy of the sun. So remain positive and know that more will be revealed to you. And then you have abundance. I haven't seen this card in a long time. But I do feel like with that Ten of Cups, if, and especially too with the Eight of Pentacles, if it's a financial situation, you have money coming in here. So if you have to make a change and you have a bit of guilt over it, it's time for you to meditate and make that change. You have within the next few weeks, so you are standing at the precipice of change here. They say there's something better. So if there's somewhere that you've got one foot in the, in the past, it's time to move forward, guys. Good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.